I, Angela Baker, have always wanted to make mango sticky rice. However, I have not had the chance to because I have not had mangoes in my place until now. And this recipe is so delicious. When I had it, I was like so surprised it was this good. The taste is just so irresistible. First thing we're going to do is cook our rice. Now I am using sweet glutinous rice. This rice already enhances a sweet flavor to it. That'll be amazing in the final product. So what we're going to do is cook it in a pot. Traditionally, people would do a steamer to cook this, but I don't own one, so I'm just going to do it normally by cooking it in water. Also, I found out that the results would basically be the same. All right, and now we're gonna let this simmer. And this may take a little while, so while this is doing its job, we can make the cream. But not just any cream, no, the coconut cream. All right, now let's make the coconut cream. So, in a pot, I'm going to add one can or 12 ounces of coconut milk. Half a cup of granulated sugar. And we're also going to add one teaspoon of salt. This is to balance the flavors of the actual dish. And at this point, it might just seem useless to add salt because everything has salt in it. But hey, you know what? A little salt goes a long way. And we're also going to add one tablespoon of cornstarch, mix it with a little bit of water, and then add that into our final product. Now what we want here is the sugar to dissolve completely. And a good way to know when it is done is when the mixture starts bubbling. All right, guys, let's see how our thing is doing, our mix. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, it's boiling too much, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do not worry, the sauce was okay if you all were concerned, all right? I mean, luckily I caught it quick enough, but if you leave your sauce there and do that same mistake, well, your sauce could be completely gone before you know it. <laughs> so don't do that. All right, and the last thing we're going to do is slice these mangoes diagonally. And we are using mangoes because obviously this is a mango sticky rice recipe. All right, now let's talk about Plating, shall we? Oh, Jesus. What I'm doing is adding some rice into a small bowl because this will work as a mold when we take out the rice because hopefully this will come out like a half circle. But let's see, here we go. Oh, and you also want a really long plate to present everything. But here we go, let's see if it works. Yes! All right, guys, now this is officially plated. As you guys saw, those amazing takes of me plating the mango and the rice. And now the last thing we have to add is the heavenly sauce. Here we go. All right, guys, here is the final product. Look at that, that looks really good, right? I mean, the amazing glaze has completely covered the rice and this mango is just another amazing thing about this dish. So let's see how this tastes, all right? Here we go. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is so good. Oh. Wow, this is delicious. And wait, let me try this mango. Actually, I should get some mango with this sauce. This thing is, yeah, here we go. Oh my God, mango sticky rice. One of the best desserts I've ever had in a long time. Oh my God, this is so good. Look, sweetness of everything combined, it's phenomenal. Honestly, this isn't even one of the hardest desserts I've made. I've tried some harder stuff and this is way tastier than those things that I made. This was 
off the top. You have to do this. But on that note, I leave you to me with eating mango sticky rice. Be sure to check out my other videos. And if you want to see some more amazing stuff from me, make sure you tune in every Sunday. I'll have some amazing videos for you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Mm.